Good morning and welcome back to Posh Cat's Camp and today we've come to somewhere that I've never been before and uh, we're still under lockdown, we're on a day trip and it's Mersey Island uh, which is just through Colchester in Essex. Colchester is uh, registered as the oldest town in England and Mersey Island is a piece of land that is joined to the mainland by a causeway and uh, somebody said to me, what's a causeway? Well, it's like a bridge, but it doesn't actually go up and over the river. It stays at the same level. Sorry, that was Oscar. Um, and so when the tide is high, the causeway floods. So uh, we know today the uh, causeway floods at two o'clock, high tide. And uh, time now is around about 11.30 in the morning. And of course, we're out on one of our day trips, which means doggy walks and Mersey Island is very pretty because you can walk from East Mersey to West Mersey at the moment we're on the West Mersey end and uh, some lovely gardens beach huts and some really quite nice beaches which is where we've ended up just now so uh, let's have a little look around Come on, Joe. Uh, place to cost a lot, yeah, yeah, some lovely properties, isn't there? They're hiding up behind the bushes here, and uh, you can see a lovely, lovely uh, beach here. Really quite quiet. Come right down the end of uh, West Mersey now, where the houseboats are, and uh, just a little further, there is uh, looks like a, 
a harbour where all the yachts are. So uh, quite interesting down here. Um, there are one or two fishing huts I'm told as well where the fishermen come in and land their catch and I'm going to go see if we can find that just a little further up. The tide's come up a bit now and the boardwalk has flooded. Well, we're going for another little walk this way now. We've um, just had a spot of, um, well, afternoon tea really. Um, tide is still pretty high and there's wind surfers out there. I'm walking across the gardens here now with a, a dog pulling on my arm. Um, going to get to the, make the most of this sunshine. We've parked uh, on the Victoria car park like I said it's five pound for the day um, but you do have to be off the car park before 8 p.m. when the gate is locked uh, so there's no overnight camping or anything of that nature. Let's catch up with the others I've got ahead of me. Sad to see the deserted campsites. Certainly at the end of June, these places should be full and busy.